Today we are talking about lesson five, which is talking about definite integral. In the previous lesson, we talked about the indefinite integral. Today we are talking about definite integral. Now, if a function f is a continuous and interval a b, then f is an integrable on a b. Now, what is before that? What is the difference between indefinite and definite integral? Now, the definite or the indefinite from its mean, like it's indefinite, like it's infinity. Like I have to integrate a function from negative infinity to new infinity interval. But if I, I want, oh, today we will talk about the definite integral. That's I will make an integration from an interval A to B. The indefinite, I'll make an integration from infin negative infinity to infinity. But a definite integral, I will integrate in a certain interval from a to b now if i want to integrate from negative infinity to infinity i'll keep it as an integral sign but if i want to integrate from a to b i have to write a down and b up this means the integration of f of x from a to b now How it will be? If I say now the integration of f of x from the interval a to interval b, that means I have to integrate the function. Then I will substitute from this interval a to interval b. Tomorrow, inshallah, I will tell you how can we find the integration from interval a to b. And as you remember, when I told you about the the meaning or the definition of calculus, I told you now that the, it is a way to find the area integration. It's a way to find any, any area. Today now we will know how can we find the integration of A to B of f of x. If you have this area as an example here, this is A, this is B, and the integration from this for, for this graph from A to B is the area of the graph. Let's see now how here. Sketch the region which whose area is represented by the definite integral and evaluate the integral using an appropriate formula from geometry. Now, so to find the integral the definite integral by two ways. So the first way by sketch the region, the second way by evaluate by integration and then evaluate, which we will talk about it tomorrow. Today, I will tell you how can we find the integration using the, by sketching the area, the area, then going back to geometry and find the area of the graph. Let's, See here now, square root, uh, sorry, um, integration of two from one to four. For this one here now, let's know that if I say square root oh, integration of two, that's mean this is y. And this is x. So that's mean here, integration of that's mean y, the equation is y equal to. So how it will be now? Here we have one, here we have two, here we have three. Here we have one, two, and three. Now, at y equal to, what's mean y equal to? That's mean. 
If x is 0, y is 2. If x is 1, y is 2. If x is 3, y is 2, and so on. So here, I will make a table like this. I will put the values of x and y and them. I will write now the interval 1 to 4. That's when I have 1, 2, 3, and 4. The interval here from 1 to 4. So I will write 1, 2, 3, 4 on the x values. Now let's come to y now. What's the equation here? The equation here is y equal 2. So what does it mean? That's mean if x is 1, y is 2. If x is 2, also y is 2. And does it, this value didn't change. How can I draw it now? At point 1, we have 2. At point 2, we have 2. At point 3, we have 2. And so on. Let's now combine or connect between them. So if you look at, or before drawing these two lines, if you're drawing now, if you look at these two, this one, we have this line here. I want now to find the integration from 1 to 4 when y is 2. So as I told you, if I want to find the definite integral, one of the ways that I have to find the area of the shape. So I have to find the area of this shape. Now, if I draw y equal to from 1 to 4, what is the shape here? Is a triangle, square, rectangle? Rectangle. It is a rectangle. So I will say that the integration of 2 from 1 to 4 is the area of rectangle. What is the area of rectangle? It is length times width. Is it right? Yes. Now, what is the length of the rectangle here? Four. It is Two. four Two. minus one, which is a three. And what is the width? Two. It's 2 minus 0, which is 2. Two. So the area of the rectangle here is 6. So that's mean since the area of the rectangle is 6, so the integration from 1 to 4 of 2 dx is 6. Teacher, why is it 4 minus 1? Here you have to find the distance from 4 to 1. So you'll say 4 minus 1. In other words, look here, 1, 2, 3. So the dimension here is a 3. Okay, thank you. So here I will repeat. So to find the definite So to find the definite integral we have two ways. The first way by the areas under the shape or by the techniques of integration. So to find the definite integration, as I told you, we can sketch the region. This is the first way. And the other way by the techniques of integration. What does it mean? If I have now here the integration of 2, that's mean I have to sketch y equal 2 from 1 to 4. When I sketch it now, I will have a rectangle, as you see in this picture here. Now, if you see that it is a rectangle, so that's mean I have to find the area of this rectangle. 
Now, to find the area of rectangle, we know that it is length times width. Look at the rectangle here. This is the length. It is 1, 2, 3. So it's a 3. And the, the, the width here, you can see it is from this point to this point. That's me. It is 1, 2. So I have 2 times 3, which is 6. There will be the area of the rectangle. And since the area of rectangle is 6, so the integration from 2, from 1 to 4, will be 6, 2. Let's have another example here. X plus 2 from negative 1 to 2. In this one here now, I want to find the integration of Let's find here now the integration of x plus 2 from negative 1 to 2. Now look at the x values here. We have from negative 1 to 2. What does it mean? That means I will make a table for x and y. Here we have negative 1 to 2. That means negative 1. 0, 1, 2. This is the values of x. Now, what is the equation here? Here we have an equation of y equal x plus 2. I will, from where I get this equation? From here, from the integral side. Now, y equal x plus 2. That's mean at point x plus 2, I will find y. So when I add negative 1 to 2, I get 1. This is the value of y. When I add 2 to 0, I get 2. When I add 1 to 2, I get 3. And when I add 2 to 2, I get 4. So the values that I have them is negative 1, 1, 0, 2, 1, 3, 2, 4. Let's now graph them here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Now, at point negative 1, it is 1. So this is now the first point. At 0, it is 2. At 1, it's a 3. And at 2, it is 4. So if you connect now between these four points, you will get uh, this line here. I want now to find the integration from point negative 1 to point Two. So here, this is done. You can say this is now now the graph of y plus two. It can be like this. If y plus two, but I want the integration from. Oh, I want the interval from negative one to two. What does it mean? That means I have to find only this area. So look at the shape here. What is the shape? Is it a triangle? Is it a rectangle? What is the shape here? Look at the shape here. What is the shape of the here? The shaded one. Sorry? 
Triangle. No, it's not triangle. A triangle and the quadrilateral. Sorry? Quadrilateral and triangle. No. Can you remember? We talked in geometry. Is it trapezoid? Trapezoid, thank you, Sima. Is a trapezoid. So now we have this trapezoid. Now who can tell me now what is the area of the trapezoid? So we have to find the area of trapezoid. Now what is the area of trapezoid? It is half the height times base one plus base two. Base two. Now, where's base one? This is base one. And this is the base two. And this is the height. Now, base one, look at me here. We have from, but since now my graphing is not, um, from a negative one, it is one. So it's supposed to be here. This is the, let's see this graph here, wait, please. It have to be one, but from my graphing, it's not clear. So let's now look at this picture here. It will be clear more than my drawing. So as I told you, this is now my graph here. Look at the base one. Here is base one. Here is base two. And here is the height. Now let's find the length of base one from the graph. Here we have, this is the base one. It is one, is it right? It's from here to here, so it's one. Plus, look at B2 now. B2, it's from four to zero. It is one, two, three, Four, so B2 is four. Now look, let's find now the height. This is the height. One, two, three. Times half. Then four plus one is five. Five times three, 15 times half, which is 50, 15 over two or 7.5. Now, since the area of trapezoid is 15 over 2 or 7.5, that means the integration of x plus 2 from negative 1 to 2 is 7.5. Is it clear now? Yes. 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 So I will sketch the graph. I will see which region is shaded i will you come oh, let's go back to geometry no what is the area of this region and after that use the formula of it evaluate you will find the integral let's have now another example look at this one here square root of one minus x squared from zero to one Now, sorry. so let's have now here these points. Let's now graph square root of 1 minus x squared. So here, we have 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 1, 2, and three. Now, the function here is negative a y equals square root of one minus x squared.
Now let's try point. At point zero, we have one minus zero squared, which is one. At point one, we have zero. Let's have at point um, between them, let's have point half. We say one minus one over four, square root three over four, that means it's square root of three over two. So it's supposed to be here. Of half, it's supposed to be here. Let's take point um, third as an example. Let's say one minus third squared. So it's square root of eight over three. So it is two square root of two over three. That's me. It have to be also here. And so on. Or you can say that we know that they, they uh, if you have like square root, if you want to graph square root of x, how it will be? It comes like if we have 1 minus the square root of x squared, it comes like this. It's like Now, sorry. do you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. So yes. here you have a square root of one minus x squared. You can see it's like a square root cancel the square root, so it comes like an absolute value. But since we have a square root, so it, can, it will not be a linear function. It will be a curve like this. It's just the graph of it. But I want from interval 0 to 1. So this is my shaded theta. Or you can say it like this. This is my shaded region. Right, okay. After I graph it, I know that this function represents this shape. After that. So after now, I grab this function so the first step we sketch function then after we sketch it we know how we have to say to find the area of the shaded region. The shaded region, which is in blue. Look at it. What is the area of the shaded region? Of the One shaded over region. Four by r squared. Sorry? One over four by r squared. What does it mean? You know, it's a circle, but it's not a complete circle. Yes. It is a quarter of a circle. That's mean here, if you continue the shape, it comes like this. So it is a, a quarter of circle with a radius of one. So I want this shaded region only. So let's find now the area of the shape. As you said, it is a quarter of a circle. That means the area of it will be quarter the area of a circle. So 1 over 4 by, what is the radius? It is 1 squared. So it is by over 4. Now, after we find the area of this shaded region, which is y over 4, I will say then now that 
the integration of 1 minus x squared from 0 to 1 will be pi over 4. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now evaluate. Look at this one here. Here we have this function, which is x minus 1, but it's a graph. And it's already sketched. I want to find now the area from the x, the shaded region, from 0 to 2, and from 0 to 1. Excuse me, girls, I have to stop here today.